People are constantly asking about what fits their truck and how big of a setup they can run with maybe a little bit of trimming, but not too much trimming. But like, I definitely can do a little. I just want it to look clean and be barely noticeable and it can rub a little at full turn, I guess. But I want decent turning radius, but just let me know what fits with some trimming because I want it to look baller as f on the gram. Y'all know what I'm saying? Here at Custom Offsets, we specialize on finding exactly what will look the most baller on the gram and, and, and. We even tell you how it fits and if trimming was required to make it fit. You can find all of that info and more to build your truck at customoffsets.com slash gallery or add your truck if you haven't already built to show off your setup and help others who might be trying to figure out what looks best on their trucks. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, we're here to tell you the biggest setups you can fit on your 13th gen F-150. So the 13th gen F-150, in case for some reason you didn't know, is the 2015 to 2020 F-150s, you know, with the headlights that have the little strips on the top and bottom, and then like after 2017, they got even skinnier and more aggressive, C-shaped, and they look so good with like the DRLs. They're just, they look good. They're like aluminum body, I think, too. For some reason, 2015, Ford put crash bars in the front wheel wells behind the front bumper, only on the crew cabs, but every other year in the 13th gen body style will have crash bars. So depending on how large you're looking to go, it's probably gonna rub a little bit on these crash bars. And while I can't legally say that they can and probably should be removed to fit larger wheel and tire setups without rubbing, we may or may not have done it before and you'll be okay. But if you're looking for the biggest setup that you can reasonably fit, and I say reasonably because sure, you can fit anything, but we're not over here trying to stuff 40s on a four inch lift kit and quite literally drive straight home. But these setups are what will push the edge requires slightly more trimming, but once it's all done, it'll look so damn good. So first up on the list is your leveling kits to two and a half inch lift kits, which are still kind of a leveling kit. And the safer bet, if you wanna be a little bit more on the easy edge and still have to remove your crash bars, which a lot of times when you look at our gallery, you can see the trimming details and have like minor plastic trimming, major plastic trimming, minor metal trimming or major metal trimming. We kind of consider cutting out a whole crash bar major metal trimming because you're lobbing off about this much metal inside of your wheel well, but you kind of get the idea. So with your leveling kits, a 20 by 10 negative 19 millimeter with a 305.55 is kind of your safer bet with those crash bars still being removed. Now that's gonna be a 33 by 12 on a 20 by 10. And if you're looking to go a little more aggressive, there are a bunch of people in the gallery running a 12 wide with a 33, 12 and a half. It's a little bit more common of a setup as far as sizing goes. It's gonna be a lot more aggressive, especially on a leveling kit. And you're probably still gonna rub on your rear fender, but it looks pretty sick. And I guess you can cut your fender if you want to. Now, remember, when we're talking about wheel size is that the diameter doesn't matter. So you have 10 wides, you have 12 wides, you can have it as a 20, you can have a 22, you can have a 24 if you want. And that's not gonna affect the fitment of the setup. It's all about the width. So your 10 wides or your 12 wides, and then your tire height and width together is what's gonna kind of combine that to worry about fitment. So next up, going bigger with your suspension lifts is a four inch lift kit. Now, a lot of the gallery is running 12 wides with 33s or 10 wides with 35s. So the way you can kind of think about it is if you're going two inches wider with it, you probably can't go taller with the tire or you go two inches taller with the tire, but you can't go wider with the wheel. So 12 wides if you want the wider look with a 33 or 10 wides if you want it a little bit more tucked in with a 35. And either of those are gonna fit pretty good with some trimming. Or if you want to ball out like Jacob Tucker, he's got 14 wides with 33 by 14 and a half inch wide tires and it looks so good. Now that's gonna require a lot of trimming and some fender trimming and a little bit more trimming on top of trimming. But if you wanna like stuff a wheel and tire setup in there, let me tell you, that looks awesome. Otherwise, stick with your 12 wides, 33s or 10 wides and 35s on your four inch lift. So next up is your six inch lift kit, which is probably the most common lift when you're looking to lift a vehicle is six inches. And the most common setup for that is gonna be your 12 wides and 35s now. So when you look at the four inch lift kit, you had 10 wides and 35s. Now with your six inch lift kit, you're looking at 12 wides and 35s. So a little bit wider, same height. Or if you kind of wanna play the line a little bit, you could go 14 wides and 33s on a six inch lift with around the same type of trimming as you would with a 12 wide and a 35. There's a couple people in the gallery with an aftermarket front bumper on their six inch lift. And that alone is gonna give you a lot more clearance as far as fitting wheel and tire package goes. And you can fit a 14 wide with some 36 by 14 and a halfs and go straight home if that's what you wanna do. But it looks good, it'll fit, it'll rub, but it's a beefy setup. But the most common, again, is gonna be your 12 wides and 35s. Or if you wanna kinda of skate it a little bit, go 14 wides and 33s on your six inch lift on your Lumen Not Duty F-150. 
So if you want to go with one of the biggest, baddest lift kits out there and like flex on everybody because I got six inches, you can say you got a nine inch lift kit. So looking at nine inch lift kits or anything kind of around that point, you're looking at eight inch ready lift kits. Magoy's does have a six and a half inch kit, but I'd consider that more along the six inch lines. And then BDS has a nine inch lift kit as well. And if you're on eight to nine inches of lift on your F-150, you can look to fit 14 wides and 37s all day long. An aftermarket front bumper obviously will help with fitment always, but 37s and 14 wides on these trucks with the bigger eight, nine inch lift kits looks awesome. And if you decide to run pre-runner fenders on it, you can fit 14 wides in like 40s or 42s. There's a guy in the gallery running that. He's got like four different setups in there, all running 42s. So that's kind of what you can do with a nine inch lift kit on your F-150s, 14 wides and 37s. It's gonna look big, it's gonna look aggressive, it's gonna look mean. It looks like a lot of guys too are running a lot more of the conservative setups on around a six inch lift, like 10 wides and 35s, because it's a newer truck. A lot of people don't wanna cut them up and we get it. Nice new things can stay nice and new longer if you don't cut them up. But if you're looking to go big, this is what that video answers, is kind of some of the more aggressive, bigger setups you can run on your 13th Gen F-150. I'm Junior from Custom Offsets. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. Like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. Wheels, tires, performance, accessories, everything else, customoffsets.com. That's all we got for you.